Crafty friends, happy Saturday. This is Lynn the Gift Eva. Welcome back to my channel. Coming on today with a little Valentine's Day project share. We're going to hashtag this Saturday morning makes as well. And uh, I meant to do a two crafters, one design thing, but I did not. Hopefully I'll do that before Sunday. <laughs> so, um... But this was a fun, this was fun, a fun project. So I wanted to show you guys, I'm, I'm, I am going to, I'm determined y'all to send out happy mail for Valentine's Day. I'm determined. I've got stuff everywhere. I keep buying stuff, so it has to go out. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I used Scrap Diva Designs 3D gift box. I know I love a simple box y'all. Easy to, easy to put together, do my own decorating uh these i will probably never use well that's not true i'm not gonna say i'm gonna never use them but these are the, like the little shaker bits for the shaker window that you can make of course you all know i did not um but i've got some party foil from um from cricut that i never did anything with so i may try to just because i don't really do shakers doesn't mean i can't make shaker mix for other people right yeah 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 so we're gonna give that a go and see how um how that looks with the with the party foil because I don't even think they make party foil anymore. Um, but I have tons of it. <laughs> so uh, I used this get 3D gift box. And I got these uh, neat little folders from scrapbook.com. They were on clearance. I saw them on somebody's channel. Somebody convinced me to go buy them. I can't remember who it was now. Was it Miss Doll? I don't remember. Somebody bought a bunch of these and they were told and said they were back in stock. So I went on, they were on sale. So I bought some of them because I need to get organized in 2024, people. I need to do it. Then I pulled out the Anna Griffin uh, Enchanted 3D Concentric Dies. I used this die on, which, you know. I wish they were, it was more clearly labeled because enchanted doesn't necessarily mean heart shape, right? <laughs> it took me forever to find this stuff because <laughs> I was looking for a 3D heart shape or something. Um, but anyway, really pretty dye. Use that. And then I was determined that I'm going to use this Mente Chocolate Kiss collection that I purchased. And I think I hauled with y'all already. I bought the 12 by 12, 6 by 8, all the ephemera. This is a really cute paper pad. It's kind of got a vintagey vibe to it. So that's what I did with the dolls I created for my box. Because y'all you know I'm currently obsessed with creating clip art images, AI images. So. I'm thinking about putting these girls in a bundle on my Etsy store. And I say that all the time, but I'm never sure that y'all want what I got, right? So if you would be interested in them, let me know in the comment section. Because I don't want to put anything out there. Like, like I don't even know why the shop is open because I am so lazy. I don't put anything out there. Um, I think after 10 years of running your own business and knowing the grind that it takes. And I admire you. If you're an entrepreneur, if you are, if you are a lady boss, a CEO, I love it for you because to make your own decisions and do your own thing is, is, is the epitome of doing what you love. However, comma, <laughs> I is tired. <laughs> and I know me. If I can put stuff out there, I'm going to get back into the hustle. And I am so not interested in that right now. I am totally on chill mode. So that is where we are with that. But I will make a few things, you know, chip bags. A chip, but don't forget about my Valentine's Day chip bags. They're out there. And um, I will make a few things and stick them up there just because I'm fun and I want to share the fun with the world. Right? So, uh project <laughs> as I ramble. So Valentine's Day project. So let me show you, I did two colors. I did pink and then that kind of like this kind of like a burgundy color ish, reddish burgundy maroony color in the, in the paper pad. So 
Look, these are, let me just show them to you because y'all, y'all gonna die. You're gonna die. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Look at my little chocolate fairies with their little, their little chocolate box. Isn't that cute? And I used the ephemera from the collection uh, to, and I didn't want to do too much enhancement on the paper because I love the paper. The paper's just so pretty. I don't know what I'm going to put in these yet. I thought about, um, well, my, my intent was to cut this out and just make an acetate window and stick some socks in with some chocolates. And I forgot about it <laughs> and just stuck the paper right on top. And so we just made all four. I made four. I just made all four like that. So I'll probably put something else in. Oh, this needs some glue. Uh, put something else in these now because I want you to kind of see the socks of whatever I make. We'll see. I've got like, I got a whole little mini Valentine's Day series coming. I got all these ideas in my head for stuff to stuff and put in the box for people. So, um, you know, stay tuned. This is the first. So, um, and I don't really want to call it a series because I'm not sure how often I'll post it. Because I'm still, I can only craft for a finite amount of time nowadays because of my arm. So, um, anyway, less rambling, more showing. So, <laughs> So here is my first one. It's the Crab Fairy. I mean, the Chocolate Fairy. I have a set of like four of her that I created. And I blinged her out. Um, I couldn't find my glossy accents because I was going to add some accents to her wings. But I couldn't find it. And um, But she just turned out super cute. So there's one. And then I only use one fairy in this little set. The other girls are like, they're in like silk pajamas. With their, with their chocolates. So this is Bonnet Girl 1. She's so happy. She received her chocolates. She's got a little bling in her bonnet. She's saying hello and I an XOXO. And I just layered up some of the ephemera pieces. Now this ephemera, this is from a haul I haven't actually videoed. But this is from... Whoa! Wrong way. Sorry, y'all. This is from 49th and Market. It's the uh, Art Options Rouge Chipboard Word Die Set. And this is all the stuff that comes in it. And um, I just, I, I didn't buy the whole collection of this. I just bought the ephemera and the chipboard because it was so pretty uh, to put on my project. So this is, um, this is Bonnet Girl 1. This is Bonnet Girl 2 in the burgundy box. The maroon burgundy. I don't know what this color is. But she looked more vintage. Well, they the, all the Bonnet Girls to me look kind of vintage-y. Because they've got all their little fur trim slippers. And they've got all their little bonnets. And um, I think I even used the word vintage in my in my prompt when I made, the, when I made her. So um, I gave... I wanted to keep, again, I wanted to showcase the paper because it's so pretty. And so I used that Anna Griffin um, heart set to for background. And then I added some of the candy and femur pieces around her. She's also excited. And she loves her candy. So that's very cute. And then the last box is Hugs and Kisses. She's got a lot of chocolate and femur pieces and some pearls. And it's just happy, fun, cute little dolls. I think they're so cute. And then this paper. I probably could have judged this paper up a little because it's just basically stripes. But let's keep, let's be honest. You know, unless I send it to a crafter, they're probably going to trash the box when it's over. Uh, so I wanted to make it cute, but, you know, won't hurt my feelings if you throw it away. <laughs> so very, 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 very cute. So. These are the four that I've started making. I got sidetracked by um, a bead show that came to Atlanta today. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, you saw my post. Uh, and so I picked up um, a few little things at the bead show. In the back of the craft room now, it's supposed to be like 20 degrees tomorrow. So I doubt if I go anywhere. So tomorrow will be more production, uh, project production. Probably because I'll be down here trying to stay warm. Um, but those are the four boxes, y'all. Let me know in the, as usual. I want to know what you think in the comments. Um, are they cute? Do you like them? I think they turned out so cute. <laughs> and um, 
I'm excited now. I'm in, I'm, I'm really really excited uh, about I was I had kind of like a slowed mojo thing I guess because of all the stuff I've been dealing with lately. But I'm back, and I think I'm back anyway. And um, I'm ready for Valentine's Day, and I'm excited excited excited. So s wait to see more cute things coming. Uh, more fairy girls, definitely, since I only use one in this project. Um, but they're so cute. I love them so much. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. Hello. Oh, one more thing. I know, like, three videos back, uh, you were supposed to leave a comment if you were interested in the journal that I made, the composition, ultra composition notebook, and I'm still going to give that away. I can't find it at the moment. <laughs> It is in the pile that is my craft room. And I wanted to add some stuff to the gift package. So I'm going to wait and draw a name. I pulled the names of the people who said they wanted to be included in the drawing. So I have those in a bowl. And I'm going to pull a name as soon as I find the prize and add to it. So I'll be back in an upcoming video to share the winner with you. Um, so I have not forgotten. I just can't find them. <laughs> I just I did like a, a cleanup. After that video, and I can't remember where I put it in terms of cleaning up. Um, so anyway, if you're new here, <laughs> this was quite a ramble, wasn't it? Uh, welcome to my channel. If you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to support me. Um, I'm looking forward to sharing 2024 with you. I'm, I'm thinking I'm going back to the craft fair in November. So we'll do craft fair videos earlier than I normally do because I want to be prepared. And um, we're just going to have fun on the channel like we always do. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Stay safe if you're in an area that's expecting bad weather. Stay warm and I'll talk to you soon. Bye now.